despite the advanced notice of Tuesday's shakeup. This is a gas Motorists now forced to tighten their belts to steer away from a financial crisis. But on a personal level, it's just like more or less, how can I put it, just monitor my movements, try and plan my destinations and, and whatnot. Well, right now I'm feeling sick, you understand? Know, and I don't even know how I plan to really get through this. Well, I have to do what I'm doing now. I have to do what I do, whether I go up or it, it didn't go up, I have to do what I have to do. According to the managing director of Broadway Express Services, Rival Chattagoon, it may be too early for motorists to feel the pinch at the pumps. Tomorrow we expect boy, I put $100 and they're not lasting. And the simple answer to that is because $100 would have given you 20 litres yesterday. It's now going to give you 16 litres. So your value for money for the $100 just fall. Chattagoon added that higher fuel prices do not mean more profits for gas station owners and dealers. We as businessmen will try and find a way to survive. Closure will be the absolute last. Now these are numbers game. If you the public don't have money to buy the fuel, then I cannot survive. He said apart from discussions with the energy minister aimed at strengthening the industry, considerations must be given to amending the green fund and business levy calculation as well as the full or partial removal of VAT on fuel. He maintains that the current policies make it difficult for motorists and other stakeholders to shoulder the growing burden. Jesse Ram, the OCNC3 News.